I was on Twitter lately, or X as the cool kids call it. I'm actually the first person with Asperger's. And I saw a video of a man having a little bit of road rage and driving through a parade. If you haven't seen the video, here's a little clip from it. They got it all blocked out. The Lloyd Center exit, the Convention Center exit, every motherfucking exit. You bum so he's mad at the construction workers blocking off the roads for the parade, and this man is just not having it. So you probably think he got out his steam, you know, he got to cuss out the people working a regular nine to five job. That's probably the end of it, right? Nope, he decides to take matters into his own hands here. This is insane, dude. He drives up on the side of the hill of the of the exit ramp, past people actually standing there working, endangering their lives, and giving off a nice fuck you at the end of it. <laughs> Which now you're thinking, okay, dude, you got off one of the exits here. Surely that's it. You got to yell at some of them. You endangered some of their lives. I'm sure that's fine, right? Is that the end of it? That's when you find out that, nope, he's plowing off into the side into the middle of a parade as children and women scream in terror as he marches his nice Dodge Ram. Introducing the all-new Dodge Go Fuck Yourself. We have a saying here in America, you're first after me, not up or by a four. And which proceeds into him being chased by the police, him going all over the place, endangering tons of people's lives, all in the act just because a couple off-ramps were closed. And you're probably wondering, well, this guy's just having a bad day, but the guy ended up being a man named Sidney Meckham, a 42-year-old registered sex offender that has one hell of an attitude. He has an extensive history with the law, you know, was involved in a significant incident during the downtown Portland Grand Floral Parade. They got him, which it's funny that this is in Portland because I lived in, I lived in Portland. I used to actually work for the county in the Multnomah County before. So it's kind of funny that, you know, these boys in blues were the one who responded. But what did they get Sydney on? Second degree attempted assault, 17 counts of unlawful use of a weapon, 15 counts of recklessly endangering another person, attempt to assault a police officer, attempt to elude police by motor vehicle, and two counts of failing to perform duties of a driver. Wow. Only just a, a couple, a couple instances of breaking the law. I'm sure he'll be fine. He definitely isn't going to prison for a long time. Seeing all this made me think about other road rage drivers. Coincidentally enough, today I saw this on Twitter. I had a bit of a rage myself. And I, I was able to calm myself down. I didn't go through a parade of people and, you know, almost murder tons of people, but you know, I digress. It did make me think though, I bet you there's a lot of fun road rage videos on the internet. Facing a fucking moron! No! And that's what we're gonna explore today is some of the wacky and kooky videos that we have found here and we're gonna present to you all. So without further ado, let's go get pissed off and get behind the wheel of a car. Toot, toot, chugga, chugga, big red car. <laughs> Wait! Before we go any further, I want to thank one of my best friends on the internet ever. Gamer Subs! If you're a gamer or a sexy individual like I know you are, you probably need to pick me up every once in a while. And Gamer Subs is the tastiest option for you. Gamer Subs has all of these wonderful flavors, and I've tested almost every single one of them. And god damn it, I'd hate to say it, but I think I've gone back to seconds once or twice before as well. They also have beautiful anime shakers so you can show off what kind of sexy little minks you like in public. And, I don't know, shake it off? It's a Taylor Swift reference. With such flavors as Dead titty milk, balls. anime girl thighs, grandpa's ashes, and Got brain it. risk, you know you're in for a finger licking good time. So if you're looking to boost up your gaming experience, please, please, please head on over to gamersups.com and use promo code POPMEAT on checkout to get some free samples. See if you even like it, because let me tell you, once you taste these little sample packets, I know for a fact you're gonna be going back. And also, here before too long, we got a fun little collaboration coming as well. So please go support Gamersups if you are looking for some alternatives to shitty energy drinks. This stuff is sugar-free, it's keto-friendly. It's just, it's good. It's good and good for you. Don't quote me on that. Thank you so much for Gamersups for being an amazing partner with us. And back to the video. Road Rage Suspect Hurls an Axe at a Driver in Washington State. That's a great title. Fox 13 Seattle knows how to really reel you in. Holy shit! He just busted the fucking thing out. Oh my god! Imagine getting in a spat with somebody over like a big gulp at 7-Eleven, and it's just like, you know what? You don't know who you just fucking messed with. <laughs> he just threw the fucking axe. I do like how calm and collected though he got back in his car. You could tell with the axe throw that was enough for him. He probably said something. He probably called him an asshole or something like that and drove off. Made a text car and road rage incident. All right. Oh shit! He just swiped him. Holy shit! Wait, why the fuck is he- why is he wearing a mask like this and does he have a bat? 
I would never have the gall in this country to get out of my car and swipe at somebody. The amount of people that I know personally that have just like a gun in their glove compartment, I, it, you could just get shot. Or God forbid, well, I mean, this the gun thing should be God forbid, but I was gonna say, I come up with like a nice one of those like novelty Hooters bats. Remember those back in the day, the tiny baseball bats that you get at Hooters? I come up and be like, motherfucker, you cut me off. And I would start to swipe at him and the guy would get out and he's like, actually, I'm a master in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and he'd break every bone in my body. That's it. That's, that's what would happen if I tried doing that. Also a big fat guy coming at you like that. It's definitely not as threatening. If anything, they just laugh at me and I feel bad and I'd get back in my car, but I'd still have the sweet Hooters bat, right? <laughs> it's the heart stopping moment shot. Oh, shut up. Let me restart this with the audio. Oh, see, see, that's what I'm saying though. God damn, dude. I like how surprised he is by his own shooting afterwards. Did I get him? What was happening here? So this is going to show what's up. Oh, yeah. See, now he's starting to spat at him a little bit. Looking back. He's already reaching for it. I can tell. He's had enough. Enough. Enough's enough, he says. That probably feels a bit excessive. He was just sitting there and he was probably just like, hey, asshole move. And this guy just started unloading rounds. That is a bad day. And now you fucked up your car too, dude. Way to go. I like how that, I like how I say that's the, that's the big negative. Me being like, you messed up your own car, dude. <laughs> Instead of like shooting strays and possibly killing somebody in the process. So these guys pulling out guns during car chases and shooting right through. These the guys pulling out guns during car chases. Well, this was not something out of Hollywood. This guy says he was defending himself during a pretty intense road rage incident. How crazy is this? God, dude, modern news is just so fucking stupid. How crazy is this? A motorist zips down a Florida highway while shooting through his windshield. That fucking fat Albert shirt is dope, though. Holy shit, that fat Albert shirt is so sick. Imagine your boy pulls out a fucking gun and starts shooting, especially on the day you whipped out the fat Albert t-shirt. Are you fucking kidding me? Glass fly as his passenger freaks out. As his passenger freaks out. Don't do that. They put up on the screen. It happened in broad daylight. An altercation. I hate this already. Look at this fucking background. It happened in broad daylight. Looks like Prince Charles. Doesn't it? I think the proof is in the pudding. An altercation between a large group of motorcyclists and a family inside an SUV. And a family inside an SUV. I have to emphasize everything that I say, just in case you don't know that the idea of family inside of an SUV getting attacked is a bad thing. And it's all caught oh on my camera. Oh my God. Inside that black SUV, 33 year old banker, Alexian Lian, his wife and their young child. Watch as one biker appears to stop short. When the SUV hits him, the entire group of bikers comes to a grinding halt. Okay, honestly, if if, if I had an army of motorcyclists like this, you, I mean, I hold on, let me watch the rest. His tires are slashed. Oh shit! And after four terrifying minutes, the motorcyclists oh, swarm the SUV once again. That's when one rider ditches his bike and tears open the driver's side door. Ian pulls it back and speeds off again. Though he's not safe for long, he's beaten in front of his family and left on the road in a pool of his own blood. Jesus fucking Christ. This is an interesting moral dilemma. Do I agree with running over a gang of bicyclists? If they're threatening my family, yes. I think the guy that ran him over, I think he's in the right. Or weren't they like fucking with him? They were like fucking with him. At the beginning, it's like weird. Your kid's probably crying in the back seat, scared, and all of a sudden they all stop in traffic because you bumped the back of a tire when a guy like brake checked you. Fuck that, dude. If anything, I'd keep plowing. I'd swerve through, reverse. <laughs> <laughs> plow them all over. The Pizza Man video is kind of funny. I've seen this one before. This is good. <laughs> I mean, this, this is horrifying, but at the same time, it's just, it's such a, it's such a comedic, like, angle. I mean, him getting thrown to the ground, that's pretty rough. He definitely is unconscious, and he definitely has brain damage after that. But this, this first image here is kind of funny. Him kicking like that, kind of funny, all right? The idea that like this guy's gonna get out of his truck and just fucking strangle somebody to death, basically. What kind of, pe what pizza place is that? Marco's. Marco's Pizza. We should call him in solidarity for this fucking rag doll incident. I'd order a pie from him. This this guy definitely got arrested too, right? Yeah. Yeah, right here. Police arrested 33-year-old Dustin Alexander McDowell on Saturday. McDowell is facing aggravated battery and tampering with evidence charges. What the fuck did they tamper with? Put the body in the sewer. Dustin, they're gonna know that we touched it. Put the body in the fucking sewer, come on. During his post-Miranda interview, McDowell had made statements implicating himself in the incident. The case is currently active and our investigation is ongoing. That's what they said. He definitely is probably just a Rest. He's in prison, probably. I hope he's in prison. Pictures of him. <laughs> they caught him with the I'd fuck me Buffalo Bill shirt. 
I like strangling people to death with my bare arms. <laughs> what a fucking loser. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> oh god, that's so good. Who, who, honestly though, who hasn't screamed like that in their car? Have you sc screamed like that before in your car? Dude, there's been so many times where I'm by myself and I have fucking just let out a storm. I love that. I gotta restart that. Get in your car, dude. Get in your car! I'm in my car. <laughs> That's fair. Will you call the cop? Yeah. Honestly, the driver of this vehicle is my is my new fucking spirit animal. Get your car, dude. You get your fucking car. I'm already in my car. All right, Cletus, call the fucking cops. Seriously. Get in your car, dude. Get in your car. I'm in my car. That's fair. In that moment, it would I think they would have honestly became friends and the guys would have been like, hey man, seriously, sorry. If he was just like, that's fair. Okay, I'm sorry. He would have been like, no problem, man. It, I feel like it, honestly with men, it would have de-escalated to that. It would have immediately just gone to that, but I love that. What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, hit the windshield off, that's not nice. Little, little, little mirror there, dude. I don't know if we can put a man literally getting shot in the chest in the video. I will say, I probably would have just driven off or done something. It, it's hard to say when is the appropriate time to shoot someone in the chest. That becomes a nice, like, what is that? That's like a nice ethics question. The nice morality check, you know? Who fucking knows? Are you okay, buddy? Yo, you fucking idiot! Are you okay, buddy? Yo, yo. What's wrong with you? Yo, yo. You were right behind me when you changed the lane. Buddy. Don't grab the fucking camera. I got a gas. Hey, man, this fit is sick. Nice sunglasses. I love the Tommy Hill figure. Fuck you. Are you stupid? You fucking piece of you're, shit. Oh, you're you're stupid. Hey, put that back, Delanteri. What? Just spit at him? Oh, he's getting out. Are you assaulting me? I'm calling 911. Come. You assaulted Come. me. You assaulted 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 me. No, you assaulted me. I like this title, CEO of Road Rage. Before I even start the video, the guy's winding up a fucking swing. Jail. You're going to God fucking damn. damn. Oh my God. Look what he did in my fucking car. Look at this piece of shit. Look at you. Are you gonna fucking attack me? Are you gonna attack me? For what did I do to you? It's the it's the cardigan with hand tattoos for me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's how you know this guy he, he's trying to switch up his life a little bit but it is not working at this point what did i do to you <laughs> what did i do to you are you fucking embarrassed of this guy he just destroyed my brand new car just fucking destroyed my brand new car she flips him off <laughs> All I know is this, dude. The message of all this is so clear after seeing all this stuff. And it's like, if you have road rage, you need to drive as fast as you possibly can and harm the person that is, you know, causing you to feel this way. If you feel road rage, you need to run people over. You need to drag people out of their cars. And you need to make sure that no one survives because the feelings you feel for the split second of that road rage are gonna last forever. It'll never get better. The times are only gonna get bad. So if anything, if you can, viewers today, this is an actual thing. Don't put any fucking text prompts up saying this isn't real because it's real. Go out and I want you someone to harm somebody with a vehicle right now. <laughs> because road rage is a disease that plagues us all. And I think all of us deserve one freebie, one life. And that's what I got to say. And if you think that you don't have road rage, you do. And I want you to experience it for the first time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. I'm, I, I'm joking. Whatever. I'm done with this.